Hey guys, and uh, welcome to our review of Super Mario 3D World. So, uh, in case you're new to the review series, we have these in chunks, and like or chapters rather, is what they're actually called. And uh, you can skip to any chapter you like. So you can skip the part of them where we talk about how this game sucks, or you can skip the part and whatever. So uh, just use those chapters if you ever need to go anywhere with those. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's just get started with the game company slash creator. <laughs> And uh, that would be Nintendo. I don't think anyone else worked. I mean, Nintendo has a, a huge facility of different uh, teams, but I think it was just purely Nintendo. So not much to say about them. Uh, they make pretty good games. They stick with the formula that works, which is a smart idea that works. Uh, it's a smart idea if you make differences, because, like for example, the Call of Duty franchise has not made differences, and so it's just the same game every year. But with Nintendo, they make games that like would say like the think of like the 2D Mario series, for example. The, it got to a point where it was starting to get this, be the same formula, and then they uh, came up with Wonder, and it's like, oh, this is completely different. So it made people uh, jump back on. So, yeah, Nintendo makes pretty good games. They stick with the formula, but they, they're good at sticking with the formula, not just, like, doing it because they can. Uh, but moving on to what is done well. Um, 3D World specifically, um, I, I like the idea that there's so much extra content after you beat the main story. So you had, like, uh, once you beat the main story, the main eight worlds, uh, you got to go to space. Like, it was World Star, I think. Then there was World Flower, World, uh, what was the third one? It was World, because World Crown is, like, the last one, but there was three other ones. Yeah, was, oh, like, three... Mushroom, it's Mushroom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's all part of um, Champions Road. Yeah, that's no, it's not. Yeah. That was that's World Crown, and that's the only thing in there, oh, yeah, um, as well as like a Toad thing. But anyway, so like either way, I love all the extra content that they're giving you, and uh, we're not gonna lump this in because it's technically its own thing. Um, but Bowser's Fury got uh, like it was a DLC thing almost, and they they put it together as like a, br a bundle. And so if you wanted to play 3D World, you could spend just like ten bucks more if that. And uh, get Bowser's Fury, which is awesome, a game which we should do on the channel sometime soon. Um, but uh, yeah, so like with 3D World, it was like a lot of things that were done well for me was like the content. Like the content that was in the game, a lot of the levels were super fun. There was a couple levels that were like, man, this game, uh, this game, uh, this, this level kind of sucks. Um, one, to, one in particular to name off is like the one where you have to use the, if you're on Wii U or whatever, you, you have to, it's where you have to tap the the screen to make the blocks appear oh, yeah, that's um and then because it was ported to the switch like you had to use a button to get your cursor to appear and that was annoying yeah, and, and uh you, you had to you had to have joy cons for that you had to use joy yeah you had to use yeah. joy cons and we had isabel do it because i stick with my controller and zach stuck with his and so and if i recall correctly it was not a fun time no um, it was not it sucked it was painful so yeah the, the, that level wasn't good um and there's a couple levels that are like okay this is not that's not that fun um so yeah but we'll get into that later but with her, in terms of what it's done well 99 percent of the levels are really fun and uh they actually champions road is actually a challenge it's not just like oh yeah i'm gonna be this first try no it's actually a challenge um and one thing i do like is that there's so many characters <laughs> there's like you have obviously the classic four and then you have rosalina added on to that as well and she has like a spin attack ability in reference to super mario galaxy so yeah there's, there's all the characters and all the characters play differently so it's not like normal 2d mario where they don't well i mean 2d mario i guess sometimes they do but uh, mario for example is base he doesn't really have any special attributes luigi jumps high as he always has um, toad runs really fast like double the speed of normal people uh, Peach can float, so if once she jumps, she can float off a ledge. And then Rosalina has the spin ability, which I just told you. Um, so yeah, the, I love the fact that they all do something, so you have like a reason to play as a character. Um, and sometimes it actually makes you switch up your uh, your character because there's those stamps that are uh, character specific that you need to step on the plate that the character requires, and like you get the idea. Um, and so that was really done well, and uh, I mean obviously it's Nintendo, so the music, the graphics, all that stuff. We're gonna get more deeply into that stuff later. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that was done well. So, moving on to uh, what could be improved. Um, I mean, this when it comes to story with these things, right? They're not exactly that extravagant. This time, it was a little switched up. Instead of uh, kidnapping Peach for the 17 million time, uh, he steals these random pixies uh, that just are existing. I guess I'm not. I don't even particularly remember why he was stealing them. I guess it's because he could turn into a. No, because he turns into Cat Bowser anyway, so I don't, I don't know what his goal was with them. Um, yeah, he just wanted them. He just wanted them, so I don't know. So, so the, I, the story we're going to get more into later, but the story wasn't that great. Um, 
there was a lot of those levels. So the you remember those uh, the level on the, it's a lava level where the thing turns and you have to like go on the side that's turning. That level in multiplayer can go die in a hole. Um, that level was so bad. Single player, it's not a problem because you're by yourself. But with multiple people, I wanted to commit genocide on the mass scale of Mario. All right. So like there was just <laughs> there's just that I hate that level. Um, so there a lot of those a lot of those levels we didn't like. I would have changed to make them more multiplayer friendly. A lot of a lot of times Mario isn't multiplayer friendly. Wonder was the first one that actually made it multiplayer friendly, even though there were still a couple things I didn't like. Um, but uh, when it comes to 3D World, uh, it was you, it was still not that multiplayer friendly. And if I recall, it it does it sh it does what every what normal Mario should do, which is it prioritizes player one. Um, which so like if if so if I was player one for example and Zach and Isabel were lagging behind, it would bubble them over to me. It wouldn't kill them, it would just bubble them over to me, which I think is a genius idea. And I probably should have said that for what is done well. Um, and the, but, uh, and the crown mechanic wasn't a vital part of the no, game. No, all it did was you have a crown. On it, you. it just gave you bragging rights. Yeah. Bragging rights and like and you could sit, you could laugh at someone that got like five points or whatever. Um, yeah. Other than that, they didn't really do it too much. So I, I mean, I'm glad they didn't do a whole lot. Um, I'm, this is, you know, a game's pretty good when you're when you're giving it compliments in the what can be improved section. Um, I honestly, there's not a whole lot. I mean, it wasn't perfect by any means, um, but there's not, at the moment, I'm trying to think of, like, other stuff besides those levels. I can't name them all by, by name. Um, the, 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 okay, this was stupid. In multiplayer, you can shoot each other with those cannons, the head cannons things. You can shoot each other. It jumps you back. It ju well, it, first of all, it gets rid of your cannon. So with the level that requires the cannon to get to the green star, if you shoot each other, you lose it all. So that's fun. Yeah, it um, should have just been the bounce back. It should it should have just not done anything at all. It should have just not done anything. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that was really dumb. And uh, the whole thing with like you can with the clones, you could ground pound someone accidentally to steal the clone and it ruins it. Like I'm not sure why that was everything. Because it's it's meant to be a co-op game. You're not meant to fight, which is uh, why I'm glad the crown mechanic doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's and I was, a lot of fighting that happens in that game. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot. Th in terms of that, there's a lot of things that could have been improved. With that. You can just um, straight up pick each other up, but, uh, each other off. Well, that's know? always been a thing, and that's never gonna change. So anyway, moving on to any problems or glitches. Uh, there used to be a glitch where you could uh like land on a certain it was like a, it was a world skip glitch you could land on a certain thing in a level and uh the game would think that you're in a different world so but other than that i mean we didn't even experience that because we played the newest version but on 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 the nintendo switch i don't think there was any bugs the version i'm talking about was the wii u version um so when they poured it, when they updated and ported it to Nintendo Switch, I don't think there was any. A lot of Nintendo games are pristine. You don't really find glitches that often. They they have a team that checks that thoroughly. So as far as I'm aware, uh, none really. So, uh, but moving on to controls. Uh, you have A to jump. You control stick to move. Um, you have uh, crouching was you could you could change it I think actually, but crouching was B usually. Um, running is Y. Uh, typically, and then so uh, basic controls, like basic Mario controls, nothing too fancy. If you played Mario games, you're gonna understand it fully, and even if you haven't played Mario games, you're gonna understand the controls pretty, cool, pretty, pretty well. So, uh, moving on to graphics, it's your. It was actually a really pretty game, uh, especially that one scene at sunset where like it's that big open field. It's like one of the op most open levels. It's that big open field where you have to catch the rabbits. Uh, and this, the sun sets in the background. That looks really pretty. So the game looks really cool. Oh, um, yeah, the, yeah. Graphically, it looked really awesome. And it looked way better than most of the other ones before. Because uh, Mario, Super Mario Land uh, was cool for its time. But 3D World demolished it, in my opinion, for how cool it looked. Um, granted, 3D World, or uh, 3D, or no, Land, whatever it's called, was on the DS. So... Um, yeah, super, super awesome graphics. It's your classic Nintendo. Nintendo always goes above and beyond with their graphics and music and stuff. Um, so of course it's gonna be really good. Speaking of music, moving on to music. It's music slash sound is what the category is called. Um, and, uh, music, Nintendo's always done a great job. They're, they're probably never gonna stop being, doing, having a, doing a great job with that. Uh, the sound, same thing. There's like nothing, there's nothing ever to complain about when it comes to Nintendo's like sound ability so this is gonna be the shortest section ever just because there's nothing to say on it it's it, besides that it's awesome so doesn't really say much there um but moving on to story and characters <laughs> so characters i don't know i don't need to go over too much you just i told you the original characters already so you have the main the main four and then you have rosalina 
Um, once you get to the uh, Star World, then you unlock Rosalina. Um, and then you have the you have Bowser as the villain, of course. Uh, you have like the minion, so every classic Mario character that's in there. I, did it ever? In, I don't think it ever introduced a character. Did it? Maybe it did. I'm not. Uh, no, because Pom. No, because I think it Pom Pom was in there because I knew the other one was in there before. Oh, did it introduce Pom? Uh, I don't know if it introduced. Maybe it did introduce Pom Pom. Yeah, because I don't remember Pom Pom from any other game, so I think Pom Pom was Cause introduced. Because 3D Land or whatever. That uh, that just, no, that was just Boom Boom like yeah, every time. Boom Boom, that's right. Yeah, that was. Um, boom Boom. So maybe it didn't. So that, yeah, maybe Pom Pom's pretty cool. She's like, I like her ability. I just wish it was less clear. Um, but they're never gonna do that because these games are catered towards children usually. Um, so they, they don't want it to be too hard. But I wish there was. I wish they would change it so that it was very hard to tell which one it was who. Um, yeah. But anyway, the characters nothing nothing to hype about because they're they, you've, they're already hyped. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, the story is that uh, I told a little bit of it before, but uh, basically Bowser's in this like pixie dimension or pixie kingdom and he just wants their face because he likes their face, I don't know. Um, and then Peach actually goes in to save them first, which prompts Mario to go in, which prompts Luigi to go in, or no, which prompts Toad to go in, and Luigi's just like, well, yeah. here we go I again. Go here we go again. Nice. And he like slaps himself out of it. I remember that scene. He slaps himself out of it because he thinks it's a dream, and then he goes in. Yeah, he's, um, I think he tried to like run away or something. He's like, ah, No, he didn't try to run. He just sees like he did this and then went in. Yeah. Um, dove in head first. But, uh, yeah, so that, and then once you get to the Frixie Kingdom, you go through all the kingdoms, you save each Frixie one by one, and then at the end, seemingly the end, Bowser steals them all again. It's like, well, frickin' what was the point of this entire game? And then you go to one final level, which this was cool, I should have mentioned this, is Bowser's, like, world, where it's oh, like yeah, a theme world park. Oh, that yeah. was so beautiful looking. I love amazing. any type of evil theme park or theme parks in general. I love the look of that. Um, and so, but yeah, once you get to there, you have one final showdown with Cat Bowser, which that introduced the Cat Bowser thing, which is in Mario Maker now. Um, and so that fight was really cool because instead of just battling him directly, like throwing it, like getting an axe or pushing a button and just throwing it in the lava, you climb this tower while he's trying to get you. And then at the end, the ending is sort of anticlimactic, but you just hit the power a bunch of times and you win. Uh, but actually climbing up the tower was really fun. Um, for multiplayer, it is a bit tricky, uh, but luckily it prioritizes the auto scroll rather than the people. Because um, if it prioritized the people, you'd like if someone fell all the way down, you'd all die. Oh, yeah, it'd be, yeah. it'd be like Mario Maker, where it prioritizes, where it prioritizes the person falling, so everyone would die. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what that's what the story is, and then obviously it's happily ever after because it always is. Um, and uh, this, I think, the Sprixes are the ones that make the rocket for you to get to the extra content. So there's that too. Um, and um, yeah, that's really that's really it. Uh, it's, a, it's a simple story. There, it's usually it's usually simple because they want Nintendo usually focuses on like the gameplay with this kind of stuff. Um, but uh, but yeah. So moving on to replayability. Um, I'm gonna slot it in the middle category because once you do everything, there's not really much to do. I will say though that even though it's in the middle, it's in the, f it's like, it's approaching on like, like, uh, unlimited because there's like, you have to, if, in order to 100% 3D world, which this is, I would say is a little extreme. You have to beat every level, get every green star, get every stamp, uh, uh, touch the top of the flagpole with, with each character, meaning you have to play each level with each character. There's five characters, let me remind you. And then there's, I think there's like something of like 200 levels or something. Uh, so that's well, that's 200 like levels thousand. times five. That's let's, a thousand already. Let's, that's like a thousand uh, times you have to play the levels, and then there's also you have to be Champions Road with each character. That's at least taking an hour. Um, so at least like a hundred hours of game time. Well, let's be real here. If you're doing, if you're trying 100, percent that's gonna take a while. Um, so yeah. So yeah, the, you can play for a pretty you can long play for a time. long time, but it's not endless because once you're done, you're done. Um, yes. It's not like Minecraft where once you once you're done with your world, you can just make a new one. That's not how that works. So it is in the middle category, but I think uh, or like the limited uh, the limited is the first one. It's like I'm not sure what to call the middle category, but whatever. Um, but it's like it's in the middle category, but it's definitely stretching more so than other games are because um, it takes so long to to get everything. Um, so moving on to personal takes. So. Um, my personal take is that it's one of the best in the, I mean, there's, it's, it's not a 2D Mario game, so it's not really part of the series or anything. So, but it's, with 3D World specifically, um, I, comparing it to other 3D, pl 3D Mario games, so like 64, uh, Mario Sunshine, um, 3D Land technically, um, then you had, there's more I think, but I'm forgetting them. 
But uh, either way, comparing it to those, I would say it's definitely alongside those like Sunshine. Uh, Sunshine's still better, but I think uh, just trying to be nice about it. Um, but it's really, it was a really fun game. I think even with multiplayer, while there were some levels that were just really annoying with multiplayer, a majority of them were fine. Um, and it was actually kind of fun to play multiplayer, some of them. So, um, and yeah, the, the actual bosses, if I recall, actually were kind of fun too. Because you had to, oh yeah, you had to battle Bowser on the bridge with his super neon car looking thing. Yeah, it's car. Yeah. And then you had to launch, uh, like, these soccer ball looking bombs at him, which was kind of cool. Um, and with that battle though, it actually worked kind of cool because if you hit him directly, it counted as two hits, and if you hit his car, it counted as one hit. Because yeah, obviously, it doesn't... like more than one way to get rid of him. Um, which is kind of funny because you can beat him without actually destroying his vehicle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the, uh, this game was really fun, and I loved all the extra content. I would never, in a million years, want to 100% the game because that that'd be a, such a waste of time to me. But um, it was a really it was a really cool, uh, really cool game, and uh, it was a really good entry in the series. And I mean, they, with Bowser's Fury, which we're gonna hopefully play on the channel at some point soon, um, it's gonna sort of it's gonna show you how cool the game actually looks because they they even improved the graphics a little bit for Bowser's Fury. Um, but yeah, that's my first take. So moving on to Zachary. Yeah, I definitely think that this game was one definitely like on the list of one of the best Mario games in my opinion. That well, that yeah. One of the best, I, I do want to agree, because, like, it's it's definitely no, like, Sunshine or Galaxy, but it, it brought, it definitely brought something new to the table. It was, like, 3D, obviously they have existed before, but, like, on the graphics, they look freaking beautiful, oh my gosh. But, like, it added some new power-ups, like the Cat Bell, which has become almost like a staple for Mario at this point, I think. Know, the boss fights were really cool. The, le the levels, the world day, freaking spectacular. They they really nailed it with that one. That's such a Bowser thing to do. You know, there's all that. But yeah, like obviously, the, like the story wasn't that good. I mean, it's a Mario game, so I don't know what you, what you expect. But overall, it was pretty good. I liked them pretty, pretty well. All right, Isabel. Yeah, for me, I this was really fun to play. Obviously, you had the annoying levels that were just painful, but <laughs> I really did enjoy World 8, and I appreciate how much creativity they, like, the amount of creativity and effort that they put into, first of all, World 8, and basically everything else that they did with it, and once we do play Bowser's Fury, I cannot wait, but I think that was, that's two-player, right? That's a, yeah, that's a two-player. Yeah, that's two-player. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just Mario and Bowser Jr. Yeah. But either way, um, yeah, and also I forgot to mention that the, the Jebel looking dude, his boss fight was amazing. Because he would split into, uh, well he would, he would, he would, no, he would like enlarge himself. So he's like this big looking clown. He was like, he had these, it was really cool. It was a really cool boss fight. Then you had the, um, the snake looking creature. I forgot their name. Um, and like those were like, and they were all centered around a carnival thing. Which I love, like, evil carnival style stuff. So, that was really cool. Yeah, it was definitely unique. Um, so, I, it was, I, tech, I briefly talked about the boss fights. But that, those were my favorite by far. Because Bowser's final boss fight was, like, it's cool to get to the top. Once you get to the top, it's anticlimactic. Yeah. Um, but, like, the the, car, the evil carnival, like, mid-bosses mid were sick. So, um, moving on to, is it worth it? <laughs> so, I, I want to say the game, I mean, the game was usually 50 or 60. Um, I think it's since lowered to 40 now um, and to me personally with how much content you get out of it and especially because it's not 60 anymore uh, if it was 60 it'd be a bit harder to decide but for me because of how good the game is and how much content you get out of it I think your $40 would be well spent um, and if you get the bundle which I think is 50 and you get Bowser Fury on top of it which is not as long but it is awesome and it is super cool and Bowser's Fury is like its own beast basically it's awesome and the music for Bowser's Fury we're gonna I can't wait to play that again um it was we've had me and Zach are gonna be the ones doing that series but we've technically played it before but we never actually beat it um we, had, we just got we just got like some of the uh mo they're not moons they're like suns or whatever they are yeah um we got we got like we got through, we got like 85 percent of the way there so but we never beat it because we never had time i guess or we just forgot about it but um yeah so i would say with 3d world uh it's worth it both in the normal version and if you wanted to get the, the add-on with buzzer fury um and that leaves the final rating out of 10. <laughs> um 
I think where I would put this game is a solid 7. I think uh, it's a really good game. I don't think I'd be comfortable giving it an 8, in my personal opinion, especially with what I've given an 8 before. Um, and so I think it's, it's definitely a solid 7, though. I would not go any lower than 7. Um, I th it's definitely a high 7 at that. Like, we don't do 7.5s or anything here, but I would, I'd definitely, it's definitely approaching an 8, but I don't think I can give it an 8. Um, but, Zach, what do you think? Yeah, def I was definitely thinking, like, 7 or 8. If, if we were to do, like, decimals, which obviously we don't, I would give it a 7.8. It's just there, but not enough. Like... It's definitely not the most multiplayer friendly, just a little bit, because of the amount of fighting that that can provoke with it. And there's that. I mean, the crowd was never an issue, but like some of that stuff. Well, for us it wasn't, but for like other kids or whatever, like other people playing the game, they might. Because you can ground pound each other to steal it. So there could be fights happening even in the mid game for the crown, because yeah, it's yeah, pride, so, I guess. Yeah, so it can definitely cause some fighting with that, so just keep that in mind for anyone trying to get this for their kids, and especially if they're really young. Um, but in the story, obviously, for, for a Mario game, it was it's kind of whatever. Well, they've never re really been known for story, except with a few exceptions. So you're giving it a seven? Seven. Okay. Isabel? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm also gonna agree with the high seven range. But I wouldn't really give it an A, but definitely a 7. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this uh, episode, guys. So if you haven't seen the, um, like, the, oh, the old, the old, uh, well, not the old ones, the, the old, um, things, Zach is so bad at everything. I'm so sorry, guys. This, um, but anyway, so, like, the, the, basically, if you haven't seen the, um, the older um reviews we've done like the more recent ones for you guys um basically we have our own custom outro because i want this to be professional you know professional meaning not having sound effects happen um but uh yeah so we have a custom outro so we don't do like the typical outro because like i said at the end of the day we're reviewing uh games so that way people can watch our reviews and maybe get some information out of it or they they'll take our opinion into account when thinking about stuff whatever uh so i wanted to be professional so instead of just being like all right guys check this out over here like the typical uh outro we do for other stuff so um yeah that's gonna do it for this episode guys so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>